Hey, sneaking us back. Yeah, got a new destroy for you. This is quirky. Yeah, quirky. It's a bit quirky. Okay. From Barry Cowler, the originator of Puppy Linux. Okay. This is the stuff he does now because he's retired. Okay. And he just works on stuff and does stuff, which is fine for me. The reason I've done this is I've actually got to install on my modern hardware. Okay. Real modern hardware. So this is an 8 core machine with 16 threads. And does it go? Oh yes it does. It goes really fantastic. Although, remember it's experimental. So nothing's going to go perfectly. But on the whole, I really, really, really like it. Okay. But then I like Puppy Dog, so I'm a bit biased in that sense, aren't I? So on the desktop, you don't get so many icons as you do with Puppy, okay? So you only get a file www means your browser apps i'll show you in a minute pet get i'm going to show you that now this is just the package manager they use it's all updated and it right i will say installed it's semi-installed i can't get it to install correctly to a hard drive to a usb drive fantastically not to a proper hard drive but anyway that out of the way you can get anything you want to so say i want to get uh say Numeric. If I can spell it right. No. Yeah, you see, so I can download it. Okay, so I can click on it. Yeah. Thinking about it. Now, if you're not used to Puppy before, old school Puppy. New Puppies are a bit different from this, but old school Puppies. I always go examine dependencies, just in case you're going to miss one. Otherwise, the program won't work. So I'm going to download and install them packages, including the program. So we we'll download, push, push. Now this is where you can see it's a real mod machine because it's so fast. Okay. If you're using an old machine, obviously it's going to take a bit longer. Okay. Just a little bit longer. Just wait for it to do its stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'm still. Oh, I've got to get to QT base Abbey five five one. Okay. That's for Abbey Word, by the way. So Genomeric should be installed. Should we see if it works? Let's have a look. So if we go down to that be in business or document. Let's see, uh, false. Ooh. See, Puppy puts it in different places than you would think it would do. So, if we go to business, there it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. Instantaneous. But if I go back to menu again, go to business, we've got LibreOffice Calc as well. Now, this takes a bit longer to open up. Even though it's so fantastically fast, a bit longer. It's a bigger program. So if you want a small system to run really, really fast on an older machine, this is the one for you. Or if you've got a really, really fast system, a new one, that you want to run ultra, 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 ultra fast, this is for you. Okay. Anyway, where was I? Okay. Yeah, that's where I was. Right, some things you're going to find a bit quirky, because it's quirky, quirky 8.4, is the same as the last pop I tried. It will lose its internet connection when you reboot, so you have to reconnect. But I'm sure they'll get that out of the way soon. My firewall's already installed, so that's super fine. And my file system is here. Okay. Now, this is the one I want to show you. Apps. Now, what do you think apps were? I mean, I thought apps is what you had on your phone, but hey. Yeah, don't kill a messenger. This is called Easy Apps. Okay, so in here you have your calculator, your calendar, um, your finance stuff. What's finance? Let's have a look. Oh, oh it went a bit bang there, didn't it? Ooh, that's not very good. Grisby doesn't work. Okay. But this is why I'm showing you, and this is why it's experimental. So don't use it as your day to day driver unless you want to encounter problems. Okay. What else we got? Uh, a spreadsheet. So we've all done that. That's LibreOffice. Okay. Mm. We have a planner and a notebook. We have a document. We have an ebook reader. HTML editor, PDF reader, PDF manager, a text editor, which is Genie. I can see the fine. Okay. So, all I'm saying, if you're going to give this a try, don't expect everything to work correctly out of the box. You may have to do some tinkering yourself. Under graphics, okay, a bit editor. So, look, what is it? MT Paint, yeah, does the job. Create diagrams, digital camera, image viewer, paint program. A photo presentation. I oh, bet that's a LibreOffice thing, isn't it? 
we see? Yeah, it's leave us in person. Okay, that's fine. Take a screenshot and a vector editor that should be Inkscape. No, LibreOffice Draw. Oh my god, I need to learn some stuff, guys. On the internet, we get your browser, which is by default CMonkey. Okay. You get chat as well, download, file transfer, get Flash. I've not actually installed Flash for the simple reason most sites use HTML5 now, so it's not really worth it, is really, unless you like playing them old uh, Flash games like, yeah, the old Flash games. Streaming, peer-to-peer -peer stuff. We go to media. We get an audio mixer, audio recorder, audio CD player. Remaster your ISOs. That's fantastic. Go to personal. Encrypt your files. Oh, please let it be bcrypt. No, oh, it's bcrypt. Lovely. I don't know why. Our distros do not include this by default. It's so tiny. It's not for breaking the law or anything, but say you want to send a file to your friend and you don't want anybody else to see it. Just do this. In this thing here, you put your file here, enter the password, you phone him up or text him and say, this is the password, off you go. Done. Job done. It's just a real, real simple one. It's not for evading anything or doing anything bad or anything like that. Go to utilities. Okay. Calculator. Check some. Oh, that's a good one. Check your checksums if you're downloading stuff. Very, very good. Do your icon stuff, yeah, super duper. Screenshot again, see? This is nothing with puppy. Sometimes multiple entries get put into multiple different stuff, and I'll show you again in a minute. Go to my apps. Well, there's nothing there because I haven't put any in. Okay, so we'll close that. If we go to the main menu, which you can either access down here on the far left of the screen, or right click the desktop, you can do it here. So if I go to fun, Jigsaw and Rubik's. You can add whatever games you want to. It's entirely up to you. It's got a, such a small footprint. But remember, this is quirky, so it may break stuff. Multimedia. Now, I'm using Voco Screen at the moment to record this because it's on real hardware. It's not in the box, okay? It's real hardware. Let's not get done stuff like that. Oh, radio, radio stream is fantastic. I'm not going to open it just in case it breaks that something. But hey, it works real good, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Now, it does have its own um, desktop recorder. It's called Have Record. But I've not had very good results of it, personally. Maybe you can tell me why, or you've not used it or anything like that. You know? So do it. And to internet. Right, I've installed Firefox, but you need to add some stuff to Firefox to get it to play audio now. Okay? On this sort of system. I think Barry should know that, but hey, we'll leave it at that. I'll move on. Under network, I've set my firewalls as I said before. Now as you can see, if I go down here, my Bluetooth stuff is turned off because I've not got a Bluetooth receptor here, or a receiver, shall we say. But, so if we go to share, you can share all your stuff over the internet very easily and over your network. But you have to adjust your firewall. Yeah, I know, I know. Everything's here. The downloads are around about 420, 440 megabytes, so it's not too big really from what you're used to. So I'll go back to apps again, because I was just getting quite used to this. What's this one here? So this one, control panel, okay. It's a similar sort of thing, so basically you can do your basic settings, time and format, window manager, hardware clock, go to system, CPU frequency scaling. Basically all they've done here in the pup control center, which has been around for quite a few years now. So maybe they want to move they're trying to move away from the main menu and do it in this sort of style. You can do your CPU frequency scaling here, your boot stuff and your boot manager, stuff like that, just to make it a little bit more modern. Okay. Because uh, it uses JWM and it is quite old fashioned, but a lot of us like it actually. Because we're old at the end of the day. Yeah, I've got a skeleton next to me. Yeah. That's how old I am. Go to drive. You can do your boot diskettes here. Yeah, even diskettes. Even floppy drives, if you've got something like that. G Parters is here by default. Remember, Puppy is a single user system. Yeah, single user. So if you want multi user, you'll have to sort that out yourself. Okay. Hardware. Yeah, oh, super, super. I think it's here. Right, I've not upgraded any video stuff for a simple reason. The basic one works fine. If you try and upgrade it, it goes bang. If we go to software, 
get flash again. So, see what I mean? It's re replicated all the time. Oh, you can remove stuff. Okay, so you don't like, so you download the ISO, and you don't like stuff. You can remove stuff you don't like, and just make your own ISO. That's the thing with Pup. It's really easy. Network, yes, I've already done my firewall, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So in network set, look, as I said to you before, it may, every time you boot up, it may go bang, okay, and then you have to reconnect under personal. Encrypted files is here again, we've said all that before, under settings, yeah, it's all been done before, it's all replicated. It's not perfect, but it's 420 meg. What do you want? Okay, and it is experimental, okay. Now, because I couldn't get it installed, properly on the hard drive i'm using the hard drive as a save file basically an enormous one it's like a gig so yeah so if i click on down here here you'll see what i mean so it's going to probe me drives bit of probing there's my, my main save drive and this is the cd i've got stuck in to boot it okay now when you first do this <clears throat> it will ask you if you want to make it just a bare bones boot drive so you don't get all the, the faff but I didn't. It wasn't for me. It wasn't for me at all. No, it wasn't for me. Anyway, I really, really, really like it. <clears throat> Quirky's been getting better and better over time and can't fault it. I just want to follow it. It's just nice to follow people doing the stuff that they want to do. It's really good. So, should it be your main system? No. Should it be your secondary? Yeah, for a laugh. And just keep up the stuff that's going on. Sneaky for the next out. Quirky April 4. It's super. I see those buzz